Hello everyone, my name is James Guy Guy. If you have not yet, hit that bell and subscribe to this channel. Today, we are going to be talking about different things on YouTube and how to do them so we can get our channel more subscribers, views, and such, okay? So we'll be talking about how you can get more views, subscribers, and be in the right direction to growing your channel. We'll be talking about better descriptions, better thumbnails, better titles, hashtags, and how to get better audience retention and higher click-through rate, okay? I mean, the first thing we're going to talk about is your title, my friend, your title. Okay, under first, one of the main important things I've learned from YouTube is that if you keep your title under 60 characters, that that is recommended by YouTube because they can see those 60 characters, okay? Uh, and YouTube recommendations. Anything other than that is not going to be seen in the recommendations. You need to just add that down to your description, which we'll talk about later. Be sure to use a title that is explaining exactly what you were talking about. That's what a lot of people are missing. They put a silly title up there, but it has nothing to do with what they're talking about. So people are not interested in something that doesn't quite make sense to what they're clicking. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> so we need to do that so that we can be better recommended into the search suggestions. It is important to have better titles. It is very important. This is the main thing you need to think of. You can use many different topics as a good title too. Reaction videos, versus videos, product reviews, better camera reviews. Just make sure that you stick to your niche. What niche is you're talking about the niche is what you're talking about and what your viewers will more than likely click on okay i seem to be doing better on some of my how-to videos which we're doing now that help other people people seem to like things that'll help them as well and get recommended to other viewers okay find words that are being searched more than others your most viewed video is what will tell your audience I'll tell you what your audience wants to watch, okay? And some, a lot of people want to learn, okay? Think of the mistakes you are making. That is another important part. You need to think of the mistakes that you are making in your title. Some of y'all are just making them too lengthy. Some of y'all are just cutting them too short. Like, how is your day? Good morning. You can extend that into more. Like, good morning, cup of coffee. How is your day? Thank you for coming here. You know what I'm saying? Anything, but I don't even recommend that. Good morning cup of coffee is like a good good strategy. Good strategy. I've used that before too. Okay, and it is a more recommended, but I would add a little more to it, at least 60 characters. Okay, you are getting YouTube each and how you can correct it is try looking up and doing your research. Make sure you do your research first before you do anything, guys, to see what other people are using versus what we are using. So if they're they're getting more better in the search results of what they're using in their title, maybe you can kind of piece their title together and make your own title out of it and you can get better search view as well. Also, you can combo up your title. You can talk about how not to and the mistakes that you're making. You know what I'm saying? You can kind of do an observation. And then what's in the middle and all that, you feel me? Add you not to okay, so you know what also not to do. So that you know what also not to do. Remember, say mistakes are simple to make. Just always remember that you can learn from your mistakes. And some people just do too much, and some people just don't add enough into their title. And it's simple as that. Like, for instance, my title is going to be How To YouTube, but I'm going to put thumbnail, description, title, hashtags, and more in my title. All right, now we will also talk about how to make a better description, which you can also click on my video down here on how to make a better description, because you can add a lot to your description, okay? First of all, being the hashtags. The hashtags need to be the first two words, and the, and the first hashtag needs to be exactly what you're talking about. It makes it better to be searched as well. All right. 
So, with this title, we're talking about how to grow your channel, how to get more views. So we can put that in our description. We can put all that in our description box, every single bit of that, how to get more views, anything and everything that goes to the topic. I've seen people write many, many different words, leave a comment after that. I've even tried it in one of my, in my live streams by putting all the different things in there as if I would use a hashtag or as if I would put it in my title and it helps broaden my description and helps me get more range on YouTube as well, okay? Let's see. Limit your titles. Make sure yes, 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 yes. Always remember to limit your title to 60 characters. I can't explain that enough. So, so exactly what we're talking about will be exactly everything in our description. How to make better thumbnails, how to make better description, how to make a better title. And you can also add your social medias, affiliate links. You know, say if you got TubeBuddy working with TubeBuddy. Make sure you show people what you used for your thumbnails, ESL, which we're gonna be using Canvas, which we'll also put in our description. So basically to sum it all up, anything that you could not put in your title, you should also put in your description with a few add-ons, whatever you can add on. If you wanna put your email in there, anything. Just make sure it is about the topic at hand, my friend. All right, how to make a better thumbnail, guys and gals. You got many different apps you can use and you can add a different background for your picture. You can add more text to your description that relates to your title as well. And I'm gonna give you a few apps that you can use as well to get those. This is what's gonna help you get a higher click-through rate on your videos and help people be more interested in your video. We're gonna be using the Canva app but you also got PhotoJet, Snappa, Adobe, Spark, and Photor. And I will be putting these in the description box as well as everything else, okay? And the things you're gonna need to do to make a better thumbnail is include title text to deliver context. Use the best font style for the picture in the background of your thumbnail and make a brighter contrast in the background. And you're gonna to need to be more consistent with that. Make sure you go look at other people's thumbnails and see how you can make yours look better than theirs. And create a design, my friend, whatever design you wanna use also for your video. It could be anything, a logo, whatever, however you wanna do it, my friend. And that is how it's gonna get done. Now let's see how this video turns out, my friends. Always make sure you're looking into the camera as well, my friend, when you take your thumbnail. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you're centered away. Make sure you always have a good smile on your face. Thank you.